As we gather this afternoon, we can't help but think of what the Jewish people are experiencing while they celebrate this special season. Uh, many are experiencing, of course, persecution for expressing their faith and some merely just for existing. It's incumbent upon leaders to not only denounce this hatred, but to counter it with love. This year, Hanukkah, of course, comes at a moment of grief, trial, and fear for the Jewish people. And perhaps for that, it's all the more meaningful. In the darkness of our world, after the horrific attacks on Israel, in Israel on October 7th, and amid the dramatic and unfortunate spike in anti-Semitism here in America, we need the light of Hanukkah more than ever before. I shudder, absolutely shudder, to think what it would mean for the future of our children and their children if anti-Semitism continues to seep in our society like a poison. This Hanukkah, we must rededicate ourselves to building a more perfect union, one that preserves equality for every American. But the story of the Jewish people the story of the Maccabees and the story of Hanukkah is one of resilience, of hope in the face of oppression, and of miraculous revolt against tyranny. It's a story of rededication, not just of the desecrated second temple, but rededication to fighting for freedom, fighting for truth, and fighting for the light. Israel is in mourning, and America mourns with her. Families are praying for the return of innocent loved ones, including several Americans from captivity. And we're honored to welcome one such family member who is with us today. Those who are not of the Jewish faith might wonder what we were just chanting. I'll say it to you in English. First, we said, blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us the sanctity of his mandates and commandments and told us to light these candles of Hanukkah. Because until the world is rid of the disease of Hamas and all these hostages are returned, we are all of us, all of humanity, in captivity. So I think that uh, it's very important to remember that while the Jewish people are most obviously in pain, all of America and all of the world, all decent meaning people as part of the human race are all in pain. So the picture of those beautiful redheads. 